Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome to a very unique live broadcast unboxing. If you guys aren't on the Macross Space Time the Culture group where I broadcasted this, I highly recommend you guys to join us there, especially if you're a Macross fan. The link is in the description down below. Um, if you're watching this now on my YouTube channel, um, it's, it's fine, I guess. Because um, I just want to share you guys um, the stuff that I got from Japan. Um, although I am going to Japan in another two months but <laughs> you know because the items that I bought are the kind of stuff that I wouldn't want to buy on my trip there because the, the boxes are huge and um, it's gonna really affect my luggage space uh, when I fly back to Singapore where I, I'm actually living um, yeah so anyway guys we're gonna unbox the stuff I'm gonna I've actually uploaded a picture on the Facebook group. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the picture here. Um, I have three packages and there's one huge ass box. So <laughs> um, that one will go into it last because it's humongous. Um, that one has the most amount of goodies, kind of. Uh, but as I mentioned in my earlier portion of the live broadcast, um, the items within the packages um, generally mostly are related to my cross and then there are some stuff that is kind of related but not entirely related in a way so hopefully you guys enjoy whatever I've just gotten myself um, yeah some because these items are actually kind of like a secondhand um, batch of items the they are actually from Mandarake from Japan uh, if you guys don't know what Mandarake is, you can actually go to their website, uh, mandarake.com. I will probably spell it out on the screen down here. <laughs> um, they are like a second-hand thrift shop for otaku goods. Um, mainly, especially those very, very hard to find items like uh, Super Sentai, uh, Precure, Makuros. Um, then you have Transformers. Then you have your Kamen Rider. That kind of stuff. So... Mandarake is definitely, a, I would say, a second-hand otaku's heaven. <laughs> so, if you're looking for some pretty old, rare stuff like I am, um, I definitely picked up all these because I, I couldn't get these in my country. Um, or rather, it's pretty rare. So, and I would definitely want to get it at an affordable price. So, Mandarake is definitely a place for you to go to. Uh, if you're a Pokemon card collector, definitely the shop, uh, they do have a range of Pokemon cards from old to new. Uh, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh card collector, I'm so sorry, they don't sell Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. I don't know why. But the physical shop um, in Japan, they do still have some selection range for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, but the online store has completely obliterated Yu-Gi-Oh! I have no idea why, uh, why the selection options are still there on their website but you know the whole range of merchandise for Yu-Gi-Oh! is entirely gone so <laughs> okay um, the first package I got as you can see it's if you guys have ordered stuff online you will probably recognize the color because this is from DHL uh, I, what? I didn't get to find a Macross in Mandarake. Uh, yeah, um, the thing about Mandarake in Japan, uh, they have a lot of outlets around Japan itself. They have one in uh, Tokyo, they have one in Sapporo, uh, then Nagoya and all this. So different outlets have different quantities of certain merchandise, especially depending on the size of the store. Um, and, you know, definitely Tokyo or Sahara outlet um, has the most amount of stuff but each outlet actually prices certain items differently so it's let's say for example if you're on the, on the uh, online website right and you're looking for something cheaper of the same item uh, it's better to click the item and then just scroll all the way down and just look at the details for each store's pricing because um, yeah um, you definitely want to pick up the cheapest available um, you know for your, the item you're looking for um, but do take note Mandarake has a very annoying thing about it is that they don't collaborate your shipping orders let's say for, for example you're ordering items from Nagoya then you have Sahara uh, I, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that right so <laughs> um, then we have uh, Sapporo if, if you're ordering items from each 
each different outlet they do not collate your orders so you need to kind of order them all from the same outlet to save on shipping cost um, my first time ordering for Mandaraki was painful because I ordered a whole bunch of items and they're all from different outlets and the shipping cost was ridiculously painful to pay um, yeah so do take note of that um, when you're ordering online for Mandarake make sure that um, you favorite all the stuff that you want to buy and gather all the items that are from one particular store to uh, be sent to you together um, if if the item is kind of urgent because it's extremely rare I would highly recommend you just fork out the shipping cost and just send it to you straight away even though it's just one single item because um, if it's rare it might get sold out within the uh, in in 30 minutes or an hour that they get they get posted up you know so one of the items here that I've gotten uh, is pretty rare so that's why it came in one single package itself um, like this one this is actually pretty rare um, then of course the medium size one that I've got here is also pretty rare so yeah if you can see the words here so that's the store name Mandaraki I think it's in reverse though because of the camera recording so yeah um, all right so I'm gonna open up the smaller one first this is entirely Macross related so Macross 7 fans uh, if you are a big Macross 7 fan this is definitely something towards your alley um, I'm gonna cut up the plastic because there's really no point in keeping all the packaging plastic <laughs> okay so um, the package is definitely wrapped up um, by DHL but the box inside it uh, I was pretty surprised that it actually came this way so it's like DHL then plus Mandarake's own box so this is a pretty well packaged but because uh, do take note as well so they do have different shipping um, methods so DHL is for those kind of items that probably you might not want to bother too much about uh, fragile items you know um, this I probably should have sent this by uh, EMS uh, EMS handles your packages pretty well um, although it's a bit more expensive in terms of shipping costs um, but and and they kind of they do send their items a bit slower through EMS but it's a lot safer so yeah so as you can see it's a pretty small package but like the corners are a bit bent because uh, that's how DHL does their business uh, <laughs> so like I said um, if you're a first-time orderer for online um, DHL is not the best way to go I don't know what other shipping um, methods they have you probably have to go to the website and check it out uh, for me personally I will just use DHL and EH, uh, EMS uh, mainly because these two are more trustable in my country um, I don't know whether they have FedEx or you know um, what other uh, shipping companies they have Co collaborating with them in you know whichever country you're from so yeah uh, okay so I'm gonna open up this one uh, I know it's taking a while uh, I probably I probably should have used a knife instead of a pair of scissors but the, you know this is just the nearest thing that I could grab <laughs> okay so packaging wise it's pretty tight um, so far, Mandarake hasn't really failed me in terms of packaging. Um, they have really taken taken care of the items. Um, they even bubble wrap a lot of stuff. Uh, hello, whoever's watching. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so like I said earlier, this is more towards the Macross 7 fans. Okay, so I gotta toss all this stuff out there. Uh, bubble wrap very well. Um, I'm pretty surprised that all these are just packed so... Wait, am I missing one item? Oh, I am missing one item. Oh no. Okay, so I probably have to check my order again or maybe they, when I ordered it, they, they sent me an email and I didn't notice that it was um, maybe out of stock. I don't know. So. 
I probably have to check it again. Um, if not, I have to reorder the item. So, I guess some of you guys probably can recognize this. Um, if you guys remember, there was a post that I posted up um, some time back. Um, this is actually the base for the high metal uh, fire valve for Basara. So the, the post was about a fan in Japan who actually painted his base. So this is the base for the high metal fire valve. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Then of course there's the sound booster for the fire valve. So the, the whole thing here, I'm actually missing the fire valve. Um, so probably after this um, live broadcast, I'm probably going to go and check my order again. And then if it's really cancelled for my order, I'm gonna have to order the fire valve again. So yeah, fire valve. So <laughs> I'm gonna check this. My room is entirely stacked up like towers I have no space I need to find time to uh, marry condo my room so <laughs> okay the next big box um, yeah this this is just one item alone um, from the size of it you can roughly guess what kind of macros item it is um, it's kind of rare uh, not exactly extremely rare um, but you know, ever since the if if I say this word, uh, you probably can guess what it is. If, ever since the movie got released, released, uh, everyone has been trying to get their hand on this. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Can you guys guess what this is? <laughs> um, yeah. So ever since the movie got released, um, people have been selling off the. Uh, first version um, of this particular item and you know the movie edition is pretty rare to come by so I was pretty lucky okay so initially um, the fire Valk was supposed to be my first uh, non-plastic model Valkyrie from the Macross series but I guess this is gonna be my first um, I wish there was Mirage's plane um, but sadly to say it isn't so I uh, hope you guys can hear me from all the rustling and bustling of the um, boxes and stuffing <laughs> so let me just organize the room a bit so the, the boxes are kind of crowding the room uh. okay so here we have Can you see it from the bubble wrap? <laughs> hey Jennifer! Um, so yeah, it's Messrs Valkyrie from the Macross Delta movie. Um, so it is pretty rare to get this um, because well, everybody wants it because it is able to, um, or rather you can only equip the little dragons for the Macross Delta movie version on to this particular version of Messrs Valkyrie so yeah um, I'm planning to do an unboxing of this for itself um, so look forward to that video in the future where I actually unbox Messrs uh, VF31F um, I have ordered the little Drakens um, for this Valkyrie as well uh, this is my first DX Chogokin um, Valkyrie so pretty awesome stuff um, okay so this thing um, why did I order it um, well I kind of wanted to own a Chogokin for myself for a very long time couldn't afford to until well um, recently because I've been doing a lot of overtime so if you guys um, if you guys know me personally uh, especially for some of you um, you guys know that I've been working crazy uh, with my job so doing a lot of overtime and stuff for my Japan trip so I, I did earn a bit more um, so I managed to get this for myself so this um, DX Chogokin was actually pretty expensive but because it's from Mandarake it's a second hand item it's probably owned by somebody else opened it uh, opened before played around with it it might come it might come spoiled I don't know 
um, second-hand items tend to have a risk factor where the item might be damaged in a way. But if you're if you're not that fussy of a collector, I think second-hand goods are pretty okay for me. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this as an unboxing in the future. Uh, so look out for that. So let's continue with opening up the larger boxes. <laughs> Alright, so squeaky chair. Okay, so here comes the huge ass box. Uh, I, I, it's it's too big. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to leave it on the floor. Uh, it, okay, so uh, Brandon has mentioned that uh, it is possible to use the second release of Little Dragons because they have the adapters included with them. Now, um, I don't know, I, I, I did ask around with those um, DX Chogo King collectors around. Um, they did mention that it cannot be uh, attached. Um, I don't know. But I've seen fans who've created their own um, molds of the uh, attachment wing, you know, for the Little Dragons. Uh, to use it on the original first version of the Messer bulk um, so yeah I don't know uh, I yes I remember I recall there was a little Draken version that comes with the uh, wing attachment um, I, but you know I, I don't know so I th that's why I had to go and ask around because I, I've never owned a Chogokin before so I just didn't want to end up you know purchasing something wrong than wasting my money because 100, 100 over dollars is no joke so um, yeah I forgot to mention I got the the Messer Valk um, at a pretty cheap price at about um, how much was it 12,000 12, yen so 12,000 yen is like <laughs> I would say a one third of this original price if I'm not wrong um, might be might be half only so who knows but i know that chogokins are definitely not cheap um yeah so definitely a wonder buy for me um because uh i i i really cannot afford a 300 dollar valkyrie uh <laughs> yeah i don't have the money for that so when i saw this pretty cheap and it was pretty rare i was pretty happy Okay, so let me try cutting up this humongous ass box. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, sadly to say, I wanted to actually get Mirage's uh, Siegfried um, first, but I couldn't find anyone selling it. Um, I, I don't know, maybe because Mirage um, wasn't a very popular character. Uh, although her, her Valkyrie colour was pretty unique, it was... Um, I don't know what the color actual name is, but it's purplish pink. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah. So, was it violet? I don't know. Um, okay. So here is the bundle of goodies. Now, this one has a mix of Macross and other stuff. Um, I don't know. What it, is it too dark? I I think because I'm sitting back because of the humongous boxes, it's kind of dim. So, <laughs> okay. So. Um, let me just try and unwrap this monstrous um, bubble wrap. Uh, so, oh goodness gracious me. So you can see uh, the way they package their stuff is like Amazon. They, uh, yeah, magenta. Uh, yeah, I don't really know the colors, actual names, but yeah, it's, to me it's, it's still purple, but it's with a hint of pink. So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Ah. So the bundle here, um, okay, it has it's a mix of Macross and other things. Like I mentioned countless times. Um, here we go. The first one, the very small item. Um, I've been eyeing this for a while because my soundtrack collection for Macross hasn't really been fully established so it's the soundtrack very nice so as you can see they even grade the items uh, if you have ordered packages from Mandarake before um, they actually grade the items accordingly to their 
um, I would say quality um, that they received it uh, you know when they buy it off um, fans who have probably um, given up on the series so yeah so pretty awesome stuff it has two discs um, uh, featuring a lot of the songs from Frontier so, uh, so you have Cheryl Gnome in the front yeah so <laughs> okay so uh, alright let me try and unravel more of this nonsense I should probably just cut up the bubble wrap oh yeah I'm gonna give me a sec guys I'm gonna have to stuff the smaller box into the bigger one because it's taking too much space just give me a second one eternity later okay so here we go and there we have it the little dragons for Messer Siegfried um, I don't know um, I don't think you have to assemble anything because after all it's uh, DX Chogokin is everything is built for you and pre-painted so the only thing you have to do is just connect them together and have it display. Uh, hey, next few. Um, now these two are from the Gundam series. Um, I I do have. Uh, I think waifus from the Gundam series as well. So um, so this is one of the waifus from my one of my most favorite Gundam series, um, Build Fighters. So this, this one was actually exclusive. Yeah, you can actually see here. Yeah. Gundam base exclusive. Yeah. So as you can tell, I'm a big fan of Fumina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got another exclusive for Fumina. So this, I think these are the only two um, Gundam base exclusive for her. So this basically covers up all the Fumina figurines that I've actually have. So I have every single one of them now. So <laughs> um, I, I think I do have all of them. I think there's one more that I don't. Uh, that one doesn't have colors. So okay, the next one is uh, kind of related to Macross. Now this is actually the Henshin device. Um, for happiness charge pre-cure now if you guys didn't know this character over here I don't know whether you can see it um, her name is Megumi and she is voiced by Megumi <laughs> so yeah if you guys didn't know this is the character that Nakajima Megumi or rather you Macross fans know her as Ranka Lee um, she voiced this character so this is the DX transformation set or uh, rather the uh, pre-chain Mira Girl DX set so it comes with the transformation device and the um, attacking device and the, the whole bunch of cards that they use for transformations and all that kind of stuff so um, it was pretty much a steal because um, this was only like a thousand two yen <laughs> so it's like uh, in my country, that's probably about fourteen to fifteen dollars. So this is really a steal. So yeah, Precure fans and Ranka fans and Megumi fans, you probably want to grab this. Um, it is a pretty old series. Um, this was during the fifteenth anniversary of Precure. So we are at the thirtieth anniversary of Precure right now in two thousand nineteen. So that's fifteen years ago. So this thing is very old. <laughs> Alright, so the last two items I have are from Macross. Um, this two will complete my 172 scale for Macross Delta uh, Plamo set. So sadly to say, we don't have Chuck um, as a Plamo. Still waiting for it. Hopefully it gets made. I don't know. So I do have um, I do have the other two, but. It's it's kind of like buried in my mountain of plamos I've yet to build so I don't want to pull them out just yet not in the state where my room is right now so I have Messrs 172 scale Valkyrie um, this is the original version uh, it's it's 
there I don't think they're gonna create a movie version uh, of it just yet until they release a Chuck Siegfried I suppose mm. but you know considering how popular Messer is uh, there is a chance that the 172 scale uh, Macross Delta movie version uh, yeah Mac Mamegu is a, a pre-cure way before um, Yasuno-san was so <laughs> go go watch it um, it's uh, Happiness Charge Pre-Cure I can't I don't know why the name of the title didn't pop up in my head as quickly so yeah Happiness Charge Pre-Cure um, she voices the character Megumi you know same name as her <laughs> so it's pretty interesting um, okay then last but not least is this one it's Arat's Valkyrie or uh, Siegfried you know so pretty awesome stuff the 172 scale um, I I don't know oh there's a sticker here <laughs> um, so it's like I don't know whether you can see it the sticker says it's 1980 yen uh, but yeah I'm gonna have to try and get this with get this out with Zippo liquid so um, yeah so I don't know whether they will be making a 172 skill armor pack for this baby uh, I don't think so considering how huge the DX Chogokin version of the armor pack was I highly doubt that they will actually make it for a 172 scale plastic model it's gonna take forever to build uh, yeah so anyway guys that's pretty much it for my Mandarake purchase for you know out of randomness um, I, I, I mostly got them because it's very cheap um, and I wouldn't purchase them in my country because they are overly priced like like the sticker says here it's only 1980 yen originally this thing is about uh, I would say about 6000 plus yen um, in Japan um, which covers about 70-ish sing I think in my country is about 70 65 to 7 to 80 dollars in my country but because it was second high second hand price this thing is freaking cheap um, so yeah I've been stocking these items for a very long time um, so I decided to grab them all at one go so generally what you just saw here the entire thing the big box the small boxes and you know everything here um, I basically only paid about uh, close to 400 Singapore dollars good stuff <laughs> so yeah guys um, if you're looking for rare old um, items that you don't mind being second-hand uh, if you're if you're not a fussy collector or if you're not a fussy fan um, who doesn't mind items that are kind of new in fact these are not built you know so it probably if you don't mind like damaged box conditions box conditions so um, that kind of stuff or maybe like the DX Chogokin maybe they were taken out and played before maybe a certain part has been snapped off that kind of thing if you're not that of a fussy collector um, I think secondhand items are the way to go especially if you're a very budget fan so yeah so anyway guys um, look forward to the unboxing uh, probably rev product review also as for the Messer Valkyrie for the DX Chogokin series the uh, Valkyrie Macross Delta movie edition um, yeah I'll probably do that as a separate video in the future for my YouTube channel so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this uh, really random unboxing video <laughs> of stuff uh, as usual thank you guys let me know by hitting the like button on this video if you are watching on the YouTube channel um, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and if you have not joined the Macross Place Hyundai Culture group if you are a Macross fan I will highly recommend you to join us there we have a whole international uh, fandom there we have friends from Italy France Germany Mexico US you know everywhere even I'm from Asia so uh, <laughs> we are all linked around the world through one fandom so until then guys thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys soon bye